Hello there. So today we are installing Ubuntu Touch on the Google Pixel 3a. So there is a step before doing that at the moment, and that is installing or downgrading to Android version 9. Here are the instructions for installing Ubuntu Touch operating system on the Google Pixel 3a. I'll put this link in the description below. But there are some preparatory steps as we had mentioned. So the first step is unlocking the bootloader. So here the Pixel 3a is still running Android. To unlock the bootloader, we go to About Phone, press on the build number a few times until developer mode is enabled. Then we go back to System, Advanced, and developer options are there. So now we want to enable USB debugging. We also want to enable the OEM unlock. This is to unlock the bootloader. So here I already have platform tools on my computer, so I can open the command prompt and go to that folder, and this allows you to run the ADB and fastboot commands. This step is not included in the tutorial, but I'll put links to it below. So ADB reboot bootloader, and this will boot the phone into bootloader mode. That's why we enabled USB debugging, so that we could do that from the command prompt. So here it is not unlocked. I've run a command fastboot OEM unlock which is typical for many devices but for the Google devices it's a different command which is command that I'm searching for here, fastboot flashing unlock. So depending on the manufacturer, you might have a different command that you need to type in. So once the command is there, agree to the unlock. This will unlock the bootloader, which is required to install custom operating systems. But now we need to downgrade this phone to Android version 9. So the links are on the instruction page, and there's a specific version that we want to install. I'd like to make note that because this is a Google device, it has a really unique feature of installing via Chrome browser. So here, I've actually downloaded the wrong firmware. I downloaded it for the Google Pixel 3a XL Bonito, but the one we want is Sargo. So make sure you've downloaded the correct package to install or to downgrade to Android 9. So 
So it's on the same page, just make sure you download the correct version for your device. I should also note that some Google Pixel 3a's do not have OEM unlocking available. So if you are buying one second hand, then do check that you can unlock the bootloader before you buy it. So using Chrome browser, I've downloaded the correct firmware here. I'm going to click wipe device. And as simple as that, it is going to reflash the Pixel 3a directly from Chrome browser. If you have any problems connecting to the device through the computer, running the commands, it's possible that it is due to the drivers installed through your computer. So if you check out some of my other videos, like the OnePlus 6 restore or install videos for Lineage OS, it will talk about setting up those drivers. But again, I'll put some links in the description below. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and I can help you out. Once the installation is complete, it should reboot on its own.
The reason why we need to downgrade The reason why we need to downgrade to Android 9 is because at this point in time Ubuntu Touch is based on Android 9 firmware. So we have to set up the phone. And then we also need to enable USB debugging again, developer mode, just as we did before because it's now basically a completely new factory wipe device. And now we'll go to the Ubuntu Touch installation. So download the installer from the instruction page and allow Windows to run it. It should automatically detect the device when it is in USB debugging mode. So here I want to install either Stable, RC, or Devel. I like to install the development version to get the latest version possible. Click on wipe for new installs and it should automatically download the operating system and install it. Big shout out to those working on the Ubuntu Touch installer. It's really quite simple and it makes things a lot easier. So we can follow the instructions on the screen. So we need to reboot the device into recovery mode using the menu. And once it's in recovery mode, we'll click continue on the installer. Even though I click continue a little bit early, it will wait until it hits recovery mode and then it will detect and start the installation process.
Once complete, it will reboot the phone automatically. And we can wait for the result. So the Google Pixel 3a again is one of the most supported devices for Ubuntu Touch by UB Ports right now, and it also seems to have one of the easiest installation processes. So if you're looking for an Ubuntu Touch device, this is a great option. Just remember to check and make sure that OEM unlock is possible on the device, as there are some that cannot be unlocked. And here we are booting into Ubuntu Touch, a successful install. For more information on what the experience of this device is like on Ubuntu Touch, please see my other video. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe. Check out the links below and we'll see you next time.